Although President Donald Trump was raised Presbyterian and has never been a Christian fundamentalist, far-right white evangelical Protestants have been a key part of his base. Trump obviously realizes that if the 2020 presidential race is close, he is going to need a heavy evangelical turnout, and journalist Rishan Ayush, in Axios, outlines the steps he is taking to keep his far-right evangelical supporters energized. Advertisement Trump was recently the target of a scathing op-ed by a white evangelical fundamentalist, Christianity Today editor-in-chief Mark Galley, who is retiring in January. Regardless, he is generally quite popular among white evangelicals, some of whom are furious with Galley for that op-ed. A group of almost 200 evangelicals signed a letter condemning the op-ed and voicing their support for Trump. And according to Ayush, Trump is doing everything he can to keep it that way. A far-left magazine, or very progressive, as some would call it, which has been doing poorly and hasn't been involved with the Billy Graham family for many years, Christianity Today, knows nothing about reading a perfect transcript of a routine phone call and would rather. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, December 20, 2019, of a radical left non-believer, who wants to take your religion? No president has done more for the evangelical community, and it's not even close. You'll not get anything from those stems on stage. I won't be reading E.T. again. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, December 20, 2019 Advertisement Last week, Ayush notes, Trump's 2020 presidential campaign announced that he will be present on Jan. 3 for an event in Miami celebrating the launch of the Coalition Evangelicals for Trump. And on Christmas Eve Trump and First Lady Melania Trump attended holiday services at a fundamentalist church in West Palm Beach, Florida, not the Episcopal Church they were married in. Ayush cites some Pew Research Center data to illustrate Trump's popularity among white evangelicals, according to Pew, about 81% of evangelicals in the U.S. voted for Trump in 2016. In contrast, Jews and Latino Catholics were, he reported, strong supporters of Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. It should also be noted that mainline Protestants such as Presbyterians, Episcopalians and Lutherans represent a non-fundamentalist form of Protestant Christianity, and that Trump had a non-evangelical upbringing, so his decision to court evangelicals in 2016 was, like many things Trump does, motivated by self-interest. Trump may not embrace evangelicals' view of the world, but he wants their votes. Advertisement Enjoy this piece, then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. Unhinged from billionaires and corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. The one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates per click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Enjoy this piece, then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David K. Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We need your support to do what we do.
Raw story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. Unhinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to email protected. Let's block ads. Why?